Yeah, it is. You know, it, it, it's um, <clears throat> it's a lot of fun coaching this team. And they have a lot of positive energy. And they care about each other a lot. And I talked about the positive energy plays we made in the first half. We don't have guys taking energy. It's not like someone's coming in um, moping around. But when we don't give the energy that we're capable of, it feels as though we're taking them because we are high energy people, myself included. So to, to your point, I thought we got a bunch of loose balls. I mean, I think I came in at halftime and said, I thought we got about 90% of the loose balls, hustle plays in the first half, we're up by two. Unfortunately, the second half, I, I don't think we got a lot of them. And we lose by 15 and that ended up losing the game by 13. And that, that, so that, that's, that's probably the tale of two halves. It doesn't, and we, we have to collectively uh, do a much better job of not fouling. And I don't know his I, – I, I, you know, I couldn't tell you in particular, but I, it's three games in a row where we've been in some foul situations. And we have a lot of guys on our team, and, and, I, and I trust a lot of guys on our team. Um, but, so, but when Ty had it going like he did, it got us out of rhythm a little bit. Um, and it probably got him out of rhythm a little bit. I thought he, um, I talked about it with him a little bit. I thought he missed some open guys uh, that he wasn't necessarily missing in the first half. Um, and, uh, and they were really uh, going in on him. And when you get off that rhythm, those fouls hurt us a little bit. And, and we got to do a better job of that. Well, I, I, I want to say we had two or three dunks maybe in the first half. We had some easy transition layups. We got to the rim a lot. Um, you know, we were two of six, 33% for, uh, uh, for threes. And then second half, we ended up shooting 12. So we we're still shooting the same, we, and we made two. So we shot double the amount and made the same amount. And um, that comes with, again, that energy. You know, we, we, like, we're playing hard. That's going to be a given for this program. All right. They just we collectively have to sustain that energy and that effort um, and, and the mental capacity to, to knock down those big shots in the second half when when they made a little bit of their run. Uh, energy like we backed away from what we were doing good in the first half. And we should have brought it in the second half. And Valpo came out and made a couple tough shots on us, went on a run. And then, like you said, I picked up a, a quick foul. So I had to sit down. And that was probably a game changer just because I had the momentum tonight. So it was just the energy went away. And that was the only thing I, I could say pretty much with him. Well, he's 11 for 20, and I want to say, like, I, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'd say, I don't know, seven or eight of them, he got every – he shot it and got his own rebound and put it back. Mm -hmm. So his percentage is, you know, quite literally a little over 50% because of that. And, um, you know, you, you, you get him to miss it, and then you relax. And once you relax, a good player like that, you know, puts it in. I mean, if he doesn't take – you know, if you don't give him offensive rebounds, probably on four of those, I think he's got five. Off, yeah, five offensive rebounds. Next thing you know, he's at 22 points. I'm not saying that's great, but it's you know you you can change some things within within uh, the result of the end of the game. You would think. He did. You know, Mike, Mike um, the, the, the really good thing we got about Mike is uh, this kid stayed all summer ready and in shape for someone to recruit him. And with our, how our roster was and us getting the job like we did, he came in ready to roll. And because he had experience, we, we decided to, to recruit him. And fortunately, we, we were able to get him. And his experience of, like, game and toughness is, 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 is showing right now. And that was nice to see. 
Um, and I think he's going to bring guys with him. And he, obviously, he has some room, room for improvement at all, but as well. But it, it, it's nice to see somebody who's been there before. And, uh, and he's been well coached. I mean, Coach Sampson's a good coach. Mike, that's the best thing, the fight, the fight, the fight. Uh, even after losses, next day in practice, we still going at mm -hmm. each other. We still going to try and make each other better. In the locker room right now, we, we just talking. And it's just we want to get better, we want to get better. It's Everything else is out the window. These guys want to get good. So we ready for Incarnate Ward in the upcoming days. But I know we'll bounce back soon. We're establishing a culture. That's what we're doing. And we're doing what um, what we do. And we have energy. And we're going to have more of it. And we're going to sustain it for a longer amount of time. And that's who we are. And uh, it's fun to coach these guys because of who we are. Have some of the young guys been tough to figure that out? I mean, like, mm -hmm. there, there were times when some of your younger coach players, they were in deep, mm -hmm. and, they, and they didn't go up strong. They yeah. kind of pulled back out. That's the struggle I'm learning with college. It is. It's just the speed. I mean, you even look at Zeke Mora. He hasn't played in, you know, almost two years. He played a little bit at Tulsa, and, and, and it's just that speed, okay, of, of a game um, when you don't have the Twins haven't had that speed yet. Uh, Zeke, who has had the speed in the past, is a very good player, but he just has – he's not used to it yet. Kenyon Dooling didn't play – he hasn't played for almost a year. And he, I mean, he's given us some really good things. He's doing some good things. He has four assists, no turnovers, one for three. I thought he passed up two shots he should have shot. Um, but that speed probably is getting to us a little bit, and that comes with experience and, and, and time on the court. And, uh, and we're getting there. We're getting there. Tonight, I went to go get some tucks and ran over it in the first half. I'm already supposed to see them in Tampa City. Okay. Uh, the OVC and the MVC yeah. are a lot better than – uh, there's no, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I, I grew up in the NBC. I was a ball boy for all those years, and and uh, I watched uh, some of the best basketball when they first came to. The, I think it was Keele Auditorium when they uh, they came to, uh, when they started first coming to St. Louis. Um, the NBC and the OVC are two of the premier leagues in the country. I, wanna, I don't even say mid major, two of the premier leagues in the country. And um, as we continue to grow this thing, as we continue to develop, we're going to be one of those premier teams within this league. Is is our is our goal? No, I appreciate you guys. Thanks.